welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina and I am on my way to making my mobile home a mobile mansion. So you guys know we're usually over here doing big makeovers. Well, big for us, not extravagant because we, okay. we're normal people when it comes to income. Like we don't make, we don't make a lot of money um, and I mean we make good money but we don't make a lot of money and we don't we don't do debt we don't do credit so anything we purchase for our home any update we do it comes out of pocket it's cash in it from an envelope system and I know my regulars know what my envelope system for my home updates kind of looks like because in a video a while back I took y'all into the like into kind of depth of how I do that but if you guys need me to do that again I will absolutely do that again it's a slow process but it's easier to do that if you're on an extreme budget. If you are on one income or if you're on a low income or if you're just, you know, lower class, lower middle class, it's much easier if you do it that way. Like I said, I usually do bigger updates. I do a lot of room makeovers um, and things like that. But today I'm gonna do a lot of the small things that add up to the big things. So I'm gonna do a lot of small things around my house that add value to the look of it in a whole. Cause I'm really good at starting projects and finishing projects, but I'm not very good at polishing projects. So like, for example, for example, my husband and I, we built that whole fireplace wall insert. It's finished, it's gorgeous, but it's not polished. I don't have the trim over it yet. So little things like that, I struggle with getting it done. I really do because it's just very, trim and baseboards are the least fun things you could probably do except for painting trim. Painting trim sucks, that's my worst favorite thing. I went with unpainted trim in my house for years because I hate doing it that bad. But today I'm gonna do just little things around the house that are gonna add up to the finished look. I want you to always leave my videos, especially on my makeover videos, I want you to leave my videos encouraged, motivated, and inspired. I want you to feel encouraged, like no matter what income you're on, you can always transform your house. It's just how much patience you have. Motivated to do that. So I know big projects can be daunting, big projects can be overwhelming. Start off little and work your way up. Any progress is progress at all. It doesn't matter if you paint one area of your trim, a foot of your trim a day, that's what I've been doing. I've been slowly painting my trim in small increments so it's not so overwhelming. So I'm more motivated to get it finished. And I want you to leave inspired so that no matter what home you live in, whether it be an RV, whether it be, I don't care if it's a tent on a campground, you can make it your own. And you can do it on a budget within your means. You don't have to keep up with the Joneses. Let everybody, everybody is in a rat race to keep up with the Joneses, let them do that. We're going against the grain on this channel. We're doing our own thing at our own speed and we're not rushed by anyone. We're not belittled by anyone. We're happy in our own lane. So like if you love zebra print, you decorate in zebra print. I don't care if you want zebra print countertops. If that's your thing, girlfriend, you do it. This is farmhouse my way. If I want to add boho pieces, I add boho pieces. If I want to add chick pieces i do chick pieces I, whatever i want to do i put it in my home because this is not a magazine this does not have to be perfect according to everyone else in the world this just needs to be how i like it your home just needs to be how you like it i just really want to focus on the little things i'm doing to motivate you to do the little things you don't have to do huge fireplace insert walls if you can't afford it right now you don't have to do huge room makeovers if you can't afford it right now do the little things. This piece of baseboard cost $26. That is going to add enough to my home to where I'm going to be like, holy moly, the change. Little things like that are going to transform your whole home and you're going to feel so accomplished and so motivated once you get them done. It's just getting started that's the hard part, I promise. She ain't lying because we're well into this video and we ain't even started yet. <laughs> I'm gonna do this video just a little bit different because I want you guys to kind of learn my thought process while doing videos like this. I want you guys to see what I'm thinking and I wanna kind of show you behind the scenes of things I wouldn't normally show or tell you guys. So right now we're going to be lowering this up here we're gonna lower it down because it's really hot and some of you guys didn't like that i like it so because this is my house 
I agree with you guys on needing to lower that curtain rod, but I'm going to compromise with myself and I'm going to leave this one up all the way to the ceiling. It's not going to be the same length as the other window, like the same height, but it's going to make that window look like a much bigger window than this one on this side. This one over here needs to be the same length as that one over there because I'm going to be using the same curtains and it's on the same wall so it kind of needs to flow it wouldn't have to if i didn't want it to but i think you guys are onto something i think i really do need to bring it down so i'm going to bring it down about a foot i'm going to bring it down about a foot so it can be symmetrical with those curtains my only concern is this right here because whenever we put whenever we so whenever we put this up here we did not measure, we just went and got this from Lowe's. So you can see it pretty much overlaps that curtain. It's not very good. I will have to redo this area at some point, but I really, I, I love the way that it looks. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna redo how it looks like, but I'm gonna have to kind of fix it to where it fits better in that area. So I'll be doing that soon, but for right now, I'm just gonna hope <laughs> that there's not any, I don't know, let me show you. So you can kind of see that curtain is right up against that shelf. You can see it doesn't fit there good at all. So for right now it's gonna work, but for the future we're gonna have to trim down that shelf and continue that wall up so it doesn't look funny. But for right now we're just gonna be bringing this down and changing those curtains. Done! Let's do this. All right, what are we doing first? All right, we're bringing that down. So like, it's gotta be level with this side over here. Ah! Jeez, amazing. Y'all will have to let me know how you like these kinds of videos, if I should do more of them. They really do, like doing them with you guys, it motivates me to get the little things done because I find it really hard to motivate myself. So doing this, you guys motivate me. I know it's not a big before and after shot, but it's still cool to see how things slowly come along. Before I get really into it though, I want to wish one of our friends on here, Krista, a happy birthday. Her birthday was on the 16th. Krista, happy birthday to you. We love you here on Fitfully Created. Happy birthday, dear Krista. Happy birthday to you. Also, you have a very kind husband. <laughs> Consider me influenced. Is the influencer supposed to be influenced? Am I even an influencer? I don't know. But y'all have influenced me to get these. I listen to y'all. Y'all, literally the ratio of people saying get the buffalo plaid curtains was insane. So I did it. And looking back on the camera, I love how it looks on camera. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Wow. Cool. <laughs> that sound whenever we're like, oh crap, it worked. No, really? <laughs> it, yeah, it worked. That, we planned it all along. I think y'all are right. I, I have to hold the, the tripod has to be so high for shame. I think you guys were right. Look at that flow. Yeah, look at that flow. Okay, time out, time you out. You guys were so right. This is nothing against you guys. They are such good friends. This is nothing, listen, this is nothing against you subscribers, okay? This is nothing against our friends. But here's the thing, I talked about this flow months ago but i didn't trust you like i trust and she you. didn't trust me and she trusted you <laughs> so i excuse me for being a little fedazzled here all right i don't know what that word is but fedazzled because i said we should do this but it yeah. looks good so now this is why husbands are right oh Okay, so we're gonna. You do... just got me again. <laughs> <laughs> I tried moving it to get him out of the thing. So we're gonna try it on this window, but I'm gonna leave my curtain on exactly where it's at because I want to give it the illusion that this window is bigger than that window. Helps maintain the illusion. 
And I'm, I lock them up there at the very top because if you guys go back and look at my old video, you'll see that it was low and it made the home look smaller. Like it made my living room look really small. When I changed it and put them up high like that, it opened up my living room. That with the fireplace like made my living room look humongous. Like on camera and even in person, people walk in here and they're like, how is all this in this little, how's all this room in this little single wide? I just had a neighbor walk in and they were like, oh my gosh, it's so big in here. It's a 16 by 80. But little things like that make it look a lot bigger in here. I've learned that along the way. So I'm gonna leave them up there, but I'm gonna put my Buffalo Pines ones up there. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to get rid of my throw pillows though. Yes. Like, will that be too much Buffalo Pines? I think it'll look fine. It's a flow. It'd be different now if you have like a buffalo plaid couch, too much. If you have buffalo plaid see, wallpaper, too much. If you have buffalo plaid these rug, are, like, too much. Color. Rug. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, ow! I can't work no more. Yes, you can. I just My leg. Work. I hit it with a pillow. You uh, quit. Oh, stop. The pain. Oh, oh God. <laughs> pointed that it way. It always points that way. It, it, ah, it does not always point this way. All right, help me up. Help me up. Oh, no. Oh. I'm done. You guys want to see a trick? This is, this is something an old man shouldn't be able to do, but I'm not an old man. Yes, you are. You ready? What? You do this and then... present to you <laughs> renewal as we drop the curtains of yore let us remember their fervent white their clear see-throughness which does not bode well for those who don't you know but I don't know we take upon ourselves the rod of truth that rod is a little bit wonky. Listen, we do this ceremony all the time. You should, you should know how to do it by now. Bob, you forgot your place in the ceremony. <laughs> huzzah! And this is where you, you guys at home watch and say huzzah. So huzzah! Do not say huzzah. But when I say huzzah, you say huzzah. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> The turds are like, shut up! <laughs> and here's one for the turds! We still love y'all! Shutteth thou mouth! <laughs> Shutteth thy mouth! <laughs> Finish line! Stop. Looks like a checkered flag. <laughs> oh, I can't Sometimes Rini says, Lord, why, why did you bless me with such a quippy husband? <laughs> what? A quippy husband. What's that? I got my quips and my jokes. No, we don't. Uh -huh. I just think you do. And then God's just like, because honey, you need some kind of laughter in your life. And then I'm like, here I am. Here I am worse than me. <laughs> I will take the work that no other will.
Amber. Okay, Amber. so I'm gonna see if the pillows are gonna be too much. Um, that, I'm not gonna lie, <clears throat> I love them on this side. This side, it's taken me a little bit to get used to. And I think it's because it is such like a big area when you walk into the home. You guys are where the front door is right now. So as soon as you walk in, that's what you see. Um, and I definitely got to do something on that wall, which I have something planned on that corner back there. I have something planned to go down that one. But something, some white needs to be brought in. It needs to just kind of be brightened up a little bit. Because I feel like either the buffalo plaid can either darken an area or brighten an area, depending on your color scheme. And I think in this one, it's really darkening it. So I'm going to try hanging up some blinds real quick to add a white factor. And then I'm going to have to be thinking on what I can do on this side for, white, for a bright factor and on that side for a bright factor. So here in a minute, you guys will see, I changed the curtains. I put new curtains up and I will have to say, going back and watching this video right now, I think I'm gonna put the buffalo plaid curtains back up. I still wanna know what y'all think though. At the end of this video, I ask y'all for your honest opinion. Give it to me straight, don't flatter me. Hit it, hit me with it, I can I can take it. Let me know which one, which pair you guys prefer. My heart's been fast when it's looking like that, oh, smile is killing me. It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs, so I can't get enough. Think about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. My heart is saying, yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. My heart is saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I will be painting the trim around my door there that you see the baseboard up against. I will be painting it white. I don't really know why I painted it the Stone Harbor grayish that my walls were. I think it was just more convenient that way. I probably made a mess and just ran with it. But I will be painting that white and I will be redoing this entryway area. I'm not going to be changing much about it because I really love how it turned out. And that's one of my most favorite makeovers we've done. But I may change up the color scheme a little bit to flow better with my home. It's no secret that I'm not a fan of the gray woods in my home. Y'all even commented that when I first changed this area. You were like, but Marina, you don't really like gray woods in your home. I don't. The only thing I do like that's a gray toned in my home are the walls and the floors. I like my woods in my home to be dark. I like that rich like contrast between the white, the gray, and the dark. So I may go in and change that wood color into a darker wood, like do some painting. I don't know yet. Whatever it is, though, I just want that area to flow. Okay, so I've been working on doing a finishing coat on that, which is something I never did. I painted this with chalk paint and never put a finishing top coat, which y'all know. If you're new on my channel, I use uh, just regular satin interior paint for my top coats, and it usually works out pretty okay. Um, I don't like playing with polyacrylic, honestly, not anymore. I used to a lot when I first started my channel. I don't now. But that's drying, and while that's drying, I'm going to run some things over with y'all real quick. So... Those look beautiful, right? Like, I, lo I love the way that that looks. But, let me show you. My house is a mess. I'm about to film a cleaning video. Um, so, but y'all are my best friends, so I'll show you. Y'all see them. I don't even know why I'm sitting here explaining why my house is a mess. Y'all see my house a mess all the time. That's what best friends do. They see each other's house messes. So, this is gorgeous. I love it. Like, I'm, oh, I love it. But, when you come over here, it's a little bit too much. It's the whole thing in general, it's just a little too much. It's like, which those pillows are for fall. I just went ahead and pillowcased them because my pillowcases came in and the pillows came in. So like I took the buffalo plaid pillows away because obviously I wouldn't keep those if I were to keep those curtains up. That's just too much buffalo plaid. But I will say right there, I think it looks so good because it's simple, right? Right here, it looks so good because it's simple. But right here, even whenever it's, hold on. Right here, even whenever it's open, it's almost like there's a lot of decor and a lot of pattern and it's like they're competing for attention. Does that make sense? It almost looks like too much. And I really enjoyed those 
before I got these, but I don't enjoy them now. It's just too much on that wall. Um, and it's not really showing on camera. I guess it's a vibe thing for me. So, I'm going, I got some white curtains, just basic white blackout curtains. Um, I got some white ones at Walmart, and I'm going to take these down and put the white ones up. Same over here. I'm not going to leave these over here. Um, and put the white ones up and see which way y'all like them better, see which way I like them better. I have a feeling once I get the white ones up, I'm not going to want to put these buffalo plaid ones up, which leaves them for my bedroom, which you guys know that makeover is coming up soon anyway. And I think they would thrive in my bedroom. It's just right now, even when my when my house is a mess, you can really tell like it's a clutter mess. Like it, it's just it's it's busy. That's what it is. And my mind is already busy by itself. <laughs> so I like my environment to be like chill, calm, like that kind of cozy. Um, not 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 busy. So I want to try the white ones. I'm gonna show you guys an overview of the buffalo plaid, and I'm gonna show you guys an overview of the white ones. Be honest with me. Y'all know you don't hurt my feelings with your opinions. I want to actually, I'm not saying, oh, flatter me and tell me my favorite. Like, tell me it's why. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, flatter me. Like, honest opinion. Like, Marina, those look like turds. Like, y'all know you're safe to say that on my channel. Marina, it looks like butt crack. Like, no, don't do that. Marina, that doesn't match. Marina, like, even if you think it doesn't match, if I like it, I'm going to keep it. But I want to know your opinion. Um, it's important to me and I don't want you to sugarcoat that opinion just because you love me because we can love each other and have differing opinions Let's make that normal. So this is what it looks like with the curtains. Shane's back there working. Hardly working <laughs> Did you just say hardly working? It's very busy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie it, It's I locked it until I got both of them up and then I'm like wait, wait, wait what do we do here? So that's what it looks like with the buffalo plaid Okay, so the curtains that Shane found at Walmart are blackout curtains. They're, they're, they were supposed to be white, but they're like a very dingy, grayish white. I'm not a fan of them. I'm not a fan of them. It says white. I know it does say white. But they're like a very dingy white. I think they white. white when daylight hits. Let me give you the overview of what they look like. This is what they look like. I like them on camera. I don't like them in person. I'll show you this side. This side looks weird because, you know, my shelf up there. We've got to fix that. See, now y'all have me thinking they look weird because they're not the same ones as those. But I didn't like them when they were the same ones as those. So, I'm going to let y'all hash it out in the comments. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I've never been so, like, just, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know. I'm going to look at them with fresh eyes. Like I did my buffalo plaid ones. I left them up for one night, too. And then I woke up and I, I didn't like them. So, um... We're going to do that and see. Okay, bright and early. I don't love them <laughs> because of the gray tone. It's not really picking up on camera, but they are very dingy, very gray tony. It looks like they've been washed in a load of blue jeans. So I want to end it here, and I'm going to let you guys tell me in the comments because at this point, I don't know what to do because I decluttered my old ones, the ones that I liked okay that were see-through, but they were a little, uh, I decluttered them, so I don't have them. So all I have is the buffalo plaid, and these right now. I may return these and look for a more this color like cream I guess. A bright cream is the color that my other ones were and I really liked them. This just doesn't go with the color scheme in my house. You can see it even looks a little weird against the paint. Um, so y'all y'all vote. Y'all y'all vote in the comments. Tell me what I need to do. I know this video was a little bit different, but I wanted to I wanted to motivate you to get the little things done because it really does add up. Right now, when I first got the pillowcases on there, I was like, I don't think I like those. My house looked like a BLT. It looked like a bacon lettuce tomato sandwich. It looked like a BLT Buffalo plaid long trailer. <laughs> That's what it looked like. So now that I, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely not going to keep these pillows on year round. I just, it really does look like a big old salad in here. Um, 
So <laughs> I'm not going to, with the, especially with the greenery I got. So I'm not going to keep those around here. But those are going to go perfect with my fall stuff. So I went ahead and got those put up. I'm about to start filming a cleaning video. Hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Please let me know in the comments which curtains you like better. Or if you think I should get another pair like what color the cream ones that i had do you think that i should get another pair of those just not see through let me know i really want to know i mean it i, I need help on this one because it's it's racking my brain <laughs> i love you guys